from CBS News Bay Area. This is the evening edition. I just sat in my driveway for about 10 minutes and just looked at the house. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, it's still here. Now at 6, Park Fire evacuees returning home, but even for those whose homes are still standing, the blaze is rekindling traumatic memories. That's hard for a lot of people. It's hard for me. It's for Some San Francisco leaders are pushing back against the city's reputation from its most notorious neighborhood. It's not perfect, but it's definitely not what's all being spread around. Later, forget Paris 2024. We'll take you to an international contest where four-legged friends hit the waves. Live from the CBS studios in San Francisco, I'm Brian Hackett. And I'm Adrian O'Connor. We begin tonight in San Francisco. It's no secret the city has an image problem, and leaders are trying their best to show the city's doing just fine despite its national reputation. This week, crews began clearing out homeless encampments all over the city after the June Supreme Court ruling gave the city the go-ahead to remove them. Meantime, the city's office vacancy rate hit an all-time high this year, with nearly 37% of the city's office space empty. It's according to the real estate firm CBRE. One area San Francisco is seeing lots of improvement is tourism. The San Francisco Travel Association projects visitors will spend nearly $9.5 billion this year. That's up nearly 7.5% from 2023. But visitor volume won't reach pre-pandemic levels until 2026. Today, former Mayor Willie Brown helped kick off Love Fest in the Tenderloin with the goal of ending the doom loop narrative. Their hope is that people can come back to the neighborhood once they see the improvements themselves. Don Lynn has the story. This loud music is hyping me up here. There are three music stages, some vendors, artists, and a lot of people up and down these two blocks on Larkin Street. Now organizers want to activate the space 